Hey guys, Aaron with AOP Tech here, and it's May, so that means we're talking about graduation, moving on. So today we're going to talk about how to take all those files, all those folders, all those, that material you've been working on that's saved in your Google Drive, that's saved in your email. How do you take it with you when you leave? So today I'm going to give you three different ways to export your data out of Google and move it to a different account. So let's begin. All right, so we're going to start off with uh, probably what is the most familiar way to move files out of Google Drive, and this is just to simply download them. So here I am in my Google Drive. I can uh, hold the control key if I want and select individual files and folders. Um, from here, I can then right click and go to download, or I can come up here to the snowman, click on there, and click download. Uh, this works well. The downside of this is the sense that you then have to download everything. And if you're you're moving from say your Google uh, from school account to either a new school account, you're you're graduating from middle school to high school, or let's say you are uh, you know moving it from your school account to a personal account. This is fine. The only downside with this is you are downloading the information and then you got to upload it back up. And depending on your number of files and the um, file size, this can become a real problem, especially if it involves like uh, multiple zip files. Uh, Google does have a two gigabit minimum uh, or maximum. And so this can really kind of become uh, a little cumbersome if you have a lot of files or if they're very large files. So this is way number one, very simple, very easy. Okay, so here we are with way number two. And um, this is uh, takeout.google.com. I'll put the links below in the description. Um, and this is a great tool. It's been around for a while. The nice thing about this tool is it allows you to export kind of everything Google related all at once. So your bookmarks, your calendar, um, I mean everything. It, it pulls from your mail, it pulls from uh, Drive. It, it's, it's really all encompassing and you can of course you know select things on and off. You can just tell it you know specifically what you'd like to get. Um, so there, there are a lot of ways that you can customize this um, and, and really what this is going to do is going to download an archived version um, of your, your, your files. Again, we coming back to this idea that we have to download everything and then re-upload it to a different account. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Three. Three licks. Here we are in option number three. Um, so this is probably the newest option and also probably my favorite option. The beautiful thing about this, we are at takeout.google.com slash transfer. And just like the, the URL implies, I don't have to download anything. I can just transfer my information, and I really like that. Um, it saves me time, saves me bandwidth, and this is a great option. Um, so a couple things. One, if you already know where you're going to, say you're graduating from middle school and you're going to high school, and you know your high school email address, this is a great way that you can just transfer from one educational account to another educational account. If you don't know that, or if you're graduating, say, from high school, and you want to move everything to a personal account, this will work as well. One little thing to keep in mind, personal accounts are limited in terms of storage size versus your educational account had unlimited storage. So that is something to look at. Um, the other caveat of this is it will only transfer folders and files that you own. So if someone has shared something with you and you are not the owner of it, it's not going to transfer that over. So that is something to like, before you move everything over, make sure you click through and see, do I own everything? Um, but this tool couldn't be simpler. All you do, um, you s sign in the destination account. It's going to send that destination account an access code. Once you get that code, um, you verify it, and then you say to copy and transfer. Um, it will leave your original information um, in your file folder, so you, it's, you, know, you can always double check to make sure that everything transferred. And I will say that when I started testing it out, that's how I learned the fact that you know, especially if you have subfolders and one of those subfolders is shared and you're not the owner of it, that folder is not going to transfer over. So 
make sure that you are the owner of every file and every folder and then it'll be really easy to just transfer it over no uploading no downloading i love this tool um, the only other the third kind of caveat is you don't get to select individual folders it's going to transfer everything over um, google Wolf does say when you do this that it's going to take up to a week in my experience and i've transferred uh, i did 150 gigabytes worth of information they did it in about 12 hours so it was a, a fairly i basically i set it up i went about my day by the end of the day i got an email saying hey all your files are there i checked that my files are there so three options for moving your google information either out of google or to another google account Hey guys, so I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Uh, definitely connect with AOP Tech on Twitter at AOP Tech. Uh, subscribe to this channel by clicking up there. If you have comments, suggestions, put them in the links below. And uh, check out one of these other videos over here. I kind of feel like I'm doing the Macarena. Like, oh, da, 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 Macarena. Da, da, da. You had to be born in the 90s to know that song. All right, guys, have a great day.